Yo guys, what is up? It is Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video here, and I am here on my Dino A Day review series. Now, what I want to show you is something really important. First off, I love Aberration. It's a beautiful map. It's just it's just a gorgeous map. Second off, <clears throat> I find it all too common that people don't really use or I guess ever really even think about using Arthur Pluris. Now, an Arthropleura is really not a bad tame. First off, it's a pretty good solid base health. These are 150 wild perfect tames. Health of 3000, melee of 343, 35, 4, whoa, 455 is impressive. <clears throat> and then 399, not too bad. Now you'll notice the health is a little bit down. I accidentally spawned one and decided to attack us, so that one killed it. But what do you do with these guys? Because a lot of people are like, great, you know, they're just annoying. They melt off your armor, <clears throat> which is another fun fact. They are pretty good <clears throat> when it comes to PvP in that regard. However, they do have one really unique ability. Have you ever just seen spam like this and you're like, Ugh, I don't want to waste a bunch of C4 on it? You can use Arthropleuras in order to destroy it. Now, one more quick thing. Let me show you something that I run into all the time. When you are raiding a base, these guys are kind of like a secret raiding tool of justice. Up here, I have a single tech turret set up, okay? Just one. Now, this tech turret, I'll show you how close I can get. It's on low range. Come on. Come on. How close do you have to get? There you go. So right about here. Now, it is on only survivors, which a lot of people tend to do with their turrets. However, check this out. So if I get nice and close right here, I can whistle. I'll even use the radio wheel so you can see it. Attack this target. And this guy will begin attacking whatever target I'm looking at. Now, honestly, I was looking at that one. There we go. So you'll see that little like red radial menu show up. And he will go and attack it. <clears throat> now, you can bring down an entire base doing this. Now, this is why people breed turtles. This is why they have Arthropleurs. They throw in a bunch of turtles so things are no longer on wild tames, and then they just whistle their Arthropleuras to attack a wall. It is really an OP tactic, as you can see this Arthropleura just destroying that tech turret already. Now, he will sit there and he will just continue to bite away, and all you have to do is watch, which obviously is a little bit OP. Now, overall, that's a great use for them. However, if you're not really feeling that use, there's another couple of good things. They're a great spam clearer because a lot of people have a tendency, it's a little bit dark right now in the game, huh? <clears throat> to start putting up a bunch of spam all over the place. Now, what you can do, hop on your handy dandy Arthropleura, and they do a ton of damage to not only metal, but also to tech. Now, check this out. So you place it between these two. They can hit up to three foundations, I guess four technically at one time. I've done up to five on accident by like little glitchy things, but it's possible. So one bite, right? One bite did a total of 150 damage to this guy and then almost 400 damage to this, which is obviously a little bit insane because they do a ton of damage per bite and you can just sit here and do this. So again, radial wheel, attack this target. And that homie is going to just sit there and attack. And then you can walk away and do what you want. You'll notice he destroyed the tech turret. They are champions. And they just sit here. And they will all three go to just destroy town on this thing. Which is pretty awesome. And you'll see they melt it pretty quick. I'm going to stand back a little bit here. <clears throat> I love these things. They're like my favorite tames. Boom. Now... Ugh, I hate Earthquakes. Earthquakes have got to be one of the most frustrating things in this game. But all you need is a couple of these guys, and they will just start destroying things. Now, a couple other quick facts about them. Again, I'm going to use the radio wheel. Attack this target. All three of them will find a way up on top of this thing to attack this middle one right here. You'll see that guy went about it the smart way. The other two are figuring it out. And they'll just sit here and attack. Now, what's really cool, look at this. They're hitting multiple at the same time. And they'll just sit there and pound away at that thing up until it's dead. Now, these are a great thing to have. Bring three or four whenever you're raiding, and you can just not waste a single C4 on things like spam. And mechs are obviously pretty good with this, but Arthur players are pretty OP when it comes to this kind of stuff. 
I really like this screenshot. It's cool looking. All right, so anyways, that's a great use for them. They've got a couple other cool things about them. One, they have no water stat, so you can literally go underwater for an unlimited time with them. You can even leave them underwater. So if you're raiding an underwater base, this is a great way to kill <coughs> some of that spam these guys may have put up. Not only that, but another couple of awesome things you can do with these guys. One, you can actually put them as a pretty decent base defense. Let me go ahead and show you. I'll hop on this guy here. And come on, there we go. Let me turn this game up, because it's getting really dark right now. So, there we go, much better. So, what you can do, first off, if you use their secondary attack, they shoot that little spit of justice. Now that spit of justice will melt all armor, which is really nice, obviously. It does not really do any damage to uh, structures, as you can see, but it does melt armor pretty well. So two or three of these guys did not take very long to destroy this tech structure. And again, that's tech structure. Pretty OP. Arthur Pleuras are really, really, really awesome tames for that reason specifically. Now, you can also enable turret mode on these guys and put them on aggressive and then targeting range on high. And they have a pretty good range and they will shoot pretty much everything with their little uh, attack mode. And you'll see this guy. I guess these are going to attack that thing over there. Oh, well. But still, you get the point. You can put them on turret range and if someone's in your base, these guys will hit them with their ability and they will just shred their armor, which makes base defense really nice and easy, actually. So, really good tame. A lot of people don't use them. That kind of little secret technique of raiding. Where you just get rid of all the turrets that are uh, creatures with the turtles. And then you just send in your Arthur or Pleuras, And it's really just OP. It's, it's a dangerous thing. And not only that, but they are capable of turret machines. Which is pretty cool. And they can just destroy stuff. I don't even know what's going on over there. They're playing like a game of catch. And then they do a pretty good job of destroying things as you saw over here. And they do a lot of it. I guess AOE range, so a lot of this stuff's already damaged, so it wouldn't take you that much longer just to go ahead and finish it up. And the cool thing is they kind of just do stuff while you're hanging around. So you can set a couple of them to attack, and then go do what you want. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this little Dino-A-Day review series, and uh, other than that, Teacher's Game 2, ah. <laughs>